Welcome everybody to the spooky world of Call of Cthulhu. We are doing some role playing today to celebrate the launch of a brand new channel that I've started called Mystery Quest that is dedicated entirely to role playing games. Today we are taking veteran investigator Simon and Lydia on her first adventure into the wacky world of investigating and mythos. We are playing a scenario from the Call of Cthulhu 7th edition starter set called Paper Chase. I hope you enjoy. Uh, bam, and welcome everybody to Call of Cthulhu. Uh, today we're doing some role playing. Um, I'm dragging the wonderful Simon Lane and Lydia through the Cthulhu mythos, kicking and screaming. And uh, yeah, we're going to be teaching you guys kind of how to play. Uh, Simon, you are an inveteran Call of Cthulhu. -er. I sure am. I sure am. Bit rusty though. That's um, about all these rules and numbers and things, but get the hang of it do not worry and lydia this is your first time playing i am a new born baby fresh to this game <laughs> that's exactly that's exactly character. great that's my character you're playing Just a newborn scary, baby screaming and shitting myself the whole time amazing mm. yeah i don't know if we actually have skills for shitting yourself <laughs> but we can make we can make it work okay thank you uh so yeah we are going to be playing the intro game which is called paper chase uh, where this is sort of a sort it's of like a game show. It sounds like a game show. It's a yeah. shop. It's a shop, actually. Oh, on the Paper high Chase. street. Paper yeah. Chase, yeah. Stationary shop. Stationary yeah. shop. Very nice. Well. It's, what's the next adventure? <laughs> Clinton Carts. <laughs> yeah, the next one is Home Depot. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to be great. We're going to have some great adventures. I'm glad you guys are already in the spooky mood. <laughs> uh, so I will warn people, Call of Cthulhu is a, a horror role-playing game and so if you're a big baby it's probably time to turn off because mm. it could get pretty spooky mm. shaking in my boots <laughs> okay good i'm glad boom it's the roaring 1920s prohibition is in full effect and so alcohol very difficult to come by and very illegal but people are still still kind of into that and you two both find yourself in michigan uh, you're both from sort of New England, kind of Boston area, but you've traveled to Michigan together uh, to attend a meeting by the Society for the Unexplained. Uh, and you've just left uh, this big, big kind of town hall, uh, and you've had a wonderful seminar about the Choo Choo Cannibals. Are they trains? No, it's spelled. Oh. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, but there, that's just a bit of fun flavor that I added to the game. And so you guys find yourself stood outside. Um, a lot of the other members have left, and you're sort of now kind of deciding what you're going to be getting up to next with your time in Michigan. Uh, who are you? My name is Margaret Vandyholt. Uh, my friends call me Maggie. Um, I am, well, I suppose you can say I'm a bit of a socialite. Um, I became very, very wealthy when my husband passed away in the Great War. Um, unfortunately, with old Dickie gone, um, I'm terribly bored. Uh, so for me, it's about chasing any kind of high I can get, whether that be illegal alcohol, opiates, or a bit of gambling. Do you miss your old Dickie? Every day. Every oh, day I miss him. Old Dickie. Old Dickie. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, give me the basic what you look like. Short blonde hair. No, wait, wait a second. Wait, what's the, they called it? Like... They had those waves back in there, what they called again. 1920s waves. Oh, yeah. I've, I've got uh, blonde hair, uh, 1920 waves, I guess you say. I'm quite small, very petite and a slim little thing, um, wearing very fashionable clothes, very expensive, um, with lovely red lipstick on. Amazing. That's beautiful. And uh, standing next to you is... I'm Peregrine Perry Smythe. I am a uh, um, a spiritualist, a, a parapsychologist, an expert in my field of the psychic arts, which explains my um, my coming here. I I like meeting you know wealthy, middle aged women and and befriending them and and helping them, especially if they have dead relatives that I can help put them into contact with. And, right, okay. And and help set their minds at ease for a small fee. So we, we can cut cut to the chase a little bit and you're a you're a con man. Well I think that's that's quite harsh. Um 
I've, you know, I'm a man, and maybe I've done the odd con. And <laughs> <laughs> but you don't want to be defined by that. No, 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 no. Um, no, I'm, I'm a spiritualist, 100%. If anyone asks me, that's who I am. Okay, uh, absolutely, absolutely perfect. Uh, so yeah, it is a kind of balmy afternoon in Michigan. You can choose the town. <laughs> Fucking hell, anywhere in Michigan. Me neither. Uh, uh, so it's a balmy afternoon. You've just come out of this this meeting, and uh, kind of you're approached by this sort of sheepish, sheepish-looking fellow, uh, and he's like, "Oh, um, I- excuse me, are, are, you, are you two part of part of this gathering? Were you attending the meeting here today?" Uh, yes, yes, I was. May I help you, please? Uh, yeah, uh, yes. Um, look, I was, I was wondering, you're kind of involved in the unexplained um like i've i've got a bit of a a bit of a brain scratcher that i've been trying to get some some help with uh oh my dear fellow you you found the perfect twosome to help you with your needs oh uh, amazing i can definitely pay you for your time i have some money no, excellent no, um well you don't need to pay me i'm always extremely no wealthy. no no please i it would be insulting not to take payment especially given the hard work that we do into our field uh, uh, okay yeah okay sure yes why not that's a giggle <laughs> uh, oh uh, excellent um well i've got an automobile if you would like to uh, come come with me and I can explain along the way. Getting in a car with a stranger, I'd love to. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, well, I, I guess I would love to as well. Um, uh, but by the way, my name is Thomas Kimball. A, pl- a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure. Mr. Uh, Kimball, I'm Mr. Smythe. You may call me Peregrine. Uh, p- uh, Peregrine, lovely to meet you. Like the falcon. Like the falcon. Well, that's the fastest bird, right? It sure is. Excellent. Well, I hope that you can bring that energy to solving this mystery. Um, the name's Margaret. Charmed, I'm sure. Oh, M- Margaret, thank you. Uh, very nice to meet you. Uh, Her husband's dead. <laughs> <laughs> She's a oh. free agent. <laughs> yeah, that's um, good to know. <laughs> Shut up, Peregrine. Stop telling everyone that. <laughs> uh, well, um... We can discuss that later, maybe. <laughs> maybe over a uh, cosmopolitan or a Manhattan. I, well, it's the prohibitions I on mean... right now. <laughs> I don't. Opium. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, I know just the place. Uh, yeah. So you guys um, hop in old uh, Thomas Kimball's car, and the <laughs> it's you. You hop in the Kimball mobile, and you start taking off through this town, Michigan. Um, I actually live just, uh, you know, a small town one over. God, I really should have learnt some Michigan town names. Do a quick Google. Okay. Ann Arbor. Ann Arbor. What? 15 best places to live in Michigan. One of them is Popcorn Wagon in Kellogg Park. I want to live in a Popcorn Wagon. <laughs> sure. Uh, well, Ann Arbor. Great, we'll do that. So you're travelling outside of Ann Arbor to another smaller smaller town. Uh, also, I could, probably should have described what he looks like. Uh, Thomas Kimball, he is an average-looking man. Perfect. Perfect. Right, glad glad we got that got Lovely. that one in. Uh, I'm a very handsome man. With are a you full handsome? Full head of hair, <laughs> luxurious dark hair, wow. a little silver around the temples. Oh, very well dressed, magnificent tie, just spotless. Are you saying this? I'm to... wearing spats. Is you, are you <laughs> saying? Know what they are. are you telling Something him this while you guys are sat <laughs> yeah, in the car? Yeah, i driving. Small talk. Uh, oh, uh, thank, thank you for telling me what you look like. I want to keep my eyes on the road, yeah. so I can't, I can't give you a full, full run up and down. Uh, but so I've, um, I've, I've got a bit of a, bit of a problem. Um, recently. Uh, my my home was broken into, and uh, several books were stolen from me, and uh, like I just I can't get it out of my mind. But I feel like this is somehow related to my missing uncle. Uh, at the moment, I'm living in his house, but over a year ago now, uh, he just disappeared without a trace, and the police have given up all hope. And I I just I just miss him so much. And these were his books that were stolen, and I just can't help but feel like these two things are linked together somehow. Oh, my dear, you poor thing. What was your uncle's name? 
Oh, it's uh, Doug. Dougie. Uncle Dougie. Uncle Dougie. I... Dougie. When was the <clears throat> last... What happened on the day he went missing then? Uh, he was not there anymore. Yes, I understand that, darling, but I mean, <laughs> where did you last see him? What happened? Well, uh, I, uh, at the time, I, I, I didn't live with him. Ah, just, yes. Uh, after a little while, just people noticed he was gone. He had stopped turning up to work, and just we have and never heard from him since. Oh, how frightful. What did he do for a living? Uncle Dougie, you can tell me what he did for a living. He was a watch repair man. He yeah. was a watch repairer. He worked in a watch repair mm. shop. Lovely. I'm not going to write this bit down because you asked us to come up with it. <laughs> well, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm, I'm writing, writing it, it down. down. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, but he worked as watch, watch repair in uh, in town. Uh, right part of a, a business doing clocks, watches. Nice, nice. How mm. old? How old was old Dougie? He was uh, like getting getting on a little bit. Uh, beep beep. Sorry, like I'm driving and someone just walked out into the road. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was an uh, older older gentleman. Uh, you know, maybe maybe sort of fifty, sixty years old. My goodness. And uh, yeah, he has just gone without a trace. But i have just uh, th- these missing books as well. How peculiar. What were these books that had gone missing? Uh, there was nothing in particular. Um, but I just I just feel like it's somehow attached. Uh, I can show you. Of course. Actually, here. I'm pulling up to my house right now. <laughs> oh, what a quaint, lovely little place. What a splendid here. manse. Uh, yeah, so this is a... It's a pretty, pretty quiet neighbourhood that you're in. The houses are fairly kind of sparse. Uh, sparse part, but they're all pretty, pretty well kept, pretty, pretty good looking. And uh, he takes you inside of this kind of two-story wooden, wooden house, townhouse type thing. Uh, please, uh, come on in. Where's your butler? I'll um, give him my coat. Oh, uh, oh, let uh, let me take that for you. Oh, and oh. He most people don't have butlers. Oh. Hangs it. Hangs it up on the wall. Well, then who who makes your dinners and washes your clothes? Oh, uh, actually, I'm quite an avid cook. <laughs> oh. Uh, I could cook you one of my favourite meals, pigeon pie. Oh. I love oh. a pigeon pie. Not for uh, you can. It's delicious. <laughs> I catch the pigeons myself. <laughs> no, oh. thank you, darling, but thank you so much. So, yes, um, yeah, the books were stolen from his study. Uh, which is on the second floor. So uh, after he went missing, uh, I inherited his house as they, you know, exec- executed the will. And I live here, and I just couldn't bear to throw away all of his possessions. And so most of them are just stacked up in his old study where he used to read all the time. And uh, I just noticed the other day the the window was open, and these books were... It looked like some books were missing. I don't know who would have wanted to steal them. It's been a year since he's disappeared. A year today. <gasps> oh, no, uh, about a, about a, it's about yes, it's about a uh, about a year ago that he uh, he has he's been gone. Now I do think it's important to have a look at what these books that are because it might be um, related to the crime, dear. Uh, well, I don't know because they're gone, and I I'm not much of a reader myself. I spend more of my time cooking, you see, oh, yeah. as Pigeons. we've now established that as my rich backstory. <laughs> Hidden pie. And yeah. Did he not keep a list of of what books he owned? Uh, well, you're welcome to have a look. We can have a rummage around let's in his have, study. Let's have a rummage. Why Get don't some we? answers. Maybe yeah. come to the bottom of this. Uh, you are. Let's do it, Perry. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Sure to, thing, Maggie. Uh, have a look, and um, yeah. So I'm I'm willing to pay you pay you for your your time if you can solve this uh, this problem. If you can retrieve the stolen books or find out just what happened to my uncle, I'll give you a summary price of twenty dollars, <gasps> which $20? in $20? about a hundred years' time will be about four hundred and eighty dollars. Oh, I don't know why I. Added that in, but <laughs> just thought it might help you to kind of work out what twenty dollars in. Okay. 
what well, our time is. Oh, oh, well, oh, okay, yes, okay. absolutely. Let's do it. Well, I can you, get a new frock. We'll we'll go up and we'll go up to the study. Is it the the first door up, up on the landing? Or yeah, you are exactly right. We'll go right up there. If you you can you can sort out the pigeon pie. We'll have a good old rummage around. Oh, great! Yes, I've got a fresh fresh batch of pigeons in, and I need to. Uh, uh, I'll I'll just get on that. Uh, do you have somewhere to stay by any chance? If if this. If you need somewhere to stay, I have spare rooms here. Um, Mango's house is quite large, and uh, you're Would welcome. Would they have their own bathrooms, or...? Roll for luck. <laughs> <laughs> what am I rolling for luck? Both? Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. What right. have I got? What's what your 55. What's your luck 50. score? Mm. No, I'm sorry. There's only... Uh, there's the main bathroom, mm. and my bedroom has the ensuite. Oh. The well, others are nice, spare rooms. I don't know about this. Uh, We're going to have to share a bathroom, Perry, Maggie. I know you've got that terrible stomach issue. I don't know if I want to share with you. It's a condition, <laughs> and you shouldn't be mocking it. <laughs> okay, well... I was shot in the gut in the war. <laughs> well, were you in the war? I was in a war, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll go and look at the pigeons, and you go and look at the study. Excellent. Uh, thank you. No, thank you. Goodbye. All right, we're going to try and... See you. <laughs> Maggie, we're going to get, get this shit done, hopefully tonight. Oh, I don't really... Get I... some money off the orgies and get the hell out of I here. I don't want to stay over here overnight, no, Perry. I no. I'm, I'm used to having my own suite and my own bathroom and my own maid and my own uh, woman who washes and bathes me. I doubt he even has a bidet. Oh, well, how am I going to clean my arsehole? <laughs> well, I guess there's always the sink. <laughs> well, oh, I... girl? <laughs> well, I never... Okay, let's speak. Let's do this quickly. Now, I've just had a thought. What if he's involved? He's the main benefactor of the will. That's always the one that doesn't, isn't it? Well, why would he ask us to assist him <laughs> oh, if that's yeah. the case? Yes, that's true, actually. Yes, good point, Perry. That's why you're the brains and I'm the looks. I thought it was the other way round. <laughs> no, 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 Perry, no. Okay. Uh, oh, well, no, wait, no, I'm actually quite intelligent. Oh, actually, it is the other way around. Yeah, yeah. You are he, the brains, I am the looks. I'm actually very intelligent. I forgot and about that. I know about the law. And, and I know about law and things like that. Yes, yes, good to know about oneself. Okay, well, let's check out this library then and see um, these mus missing books. Yes. Yes. I'm sure there'll be an empty space on the shelf and you'll be like, oh... That must be the book that's missing. Hopefully it's alphabetical and then we can sort of work it all out. Yeah, it'll be much easier. I mean, it'd be much easier if it was like a whole sort of encyclopedia and certain volumes were missing and then we could actually know which books were missing. Maybe that'll be Oh, M to N is gone. Ah, that would be quite easy. Yes, magic in the occult or something <gasps> like that. What? I mean, the book about, it's, you know, magic or Why something. Why do you think this has got anything to do with the occult? I it's just some missing books. I don't know. I'm just being, I'm letting my imagination get away The from man me. probably had debts you and did a runner. You know me, Perry. Maybe he got a lady pregnant Perry, in the family way. Well, I never. I'm bored, Perry, and I want to think of something more interesting than just boring scandals. Perry, I'm bored. I love that. That's such a good line. Uh, okay, so yeah, you guys head into... Uh, you head into the study, and yeah, it is. Every single wall is covered in bookshelves. There are piles of books everywhere in here. Uh, you can see uh, across the bookshelves, like these things are absolutely jam packed, but it doesn't take you long to work out that there are definitely a few just missing tomes from there. That seeing as how tightly packed all the other books are, uh, that these, these spaces. Are pretty pretty obvious. Do you want to give me some kind of spot hidden role if you want to be looking around? <laughs> Mine is sixty, Lydia. Should Great. I... Yeah. If you want to, uh... I guess we can both roll. Yeah, you but... can both both have a look. So what is it? Oh my god, is that eighty three? Okay. Well, before you uh you roll, so while playing Call of Cthulhu. You guys are going to be asked to roll against skills or some of your core stats. And when they do that, uh, what you're going to do is roll a D100, and you're trying to roll under that number. And so, Simon... 83 is higher than 60. Excellent. Which means I fail. So you failed. But that is not the end of it. Uh, you will have the opportunity to push your dice roll. Uh, where it means that you kind of really knuckle down and you try to do whatever you're doing again. My nose is like an inch from the books. Uh, like... <laughs> just your kind of, well, I think in this case, you're probably going to be taking longer or mm. uh, 
you know, really just start rumming, like throwing shit around, uh, whatever, whatever you want to do. It's kind of up to you to make your pitch, but you get to roll again against your skill. And if you pass, great, you've passed your skill. But if you fail, there will be consequences. Mm -hmm. So would you like to push your, push your dice roll? Can I have Lydia roll first, or do I have to roll this to push it? Uh, I do not mind. Uh, 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 to hell with it, I'll push it. Sure. Great. Sure. What could possibly go wrong? What's that? 41. Perfect. Well, as you're uh, looking around, so this is this is going to take both of you a couple of hours. Uh, Lydia, if you want to roll as well, then... Okay, let me have a look, Perry. Um... Oh, I got a, 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 a zero. A, a, I got one. You got a critical success. I did a critical success on my first roll. Look at that. What the? F um, yes, I, I think I did that then. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, uh, perfect. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you ever roll uh, below a five um, on something that you actually have points in, yes. then you are going to crit. And if you're rolling 95 or above, that's a crit fail. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, you have... Your first roll, you have critically succeeded. So Jesus Christ. <laughs> so this is probably going to take you the best part of the afternoon to actually work out this information mm -hmm. uh, as you are looking around. But you are able to determine that some of the books that are missing, uh, some are a little bit about exploration, some are to do with spelunking. Um, nice. Others just seem to be, you know, just novels or kind of, Things of interest. Like a fictional book. Yeah, just, you know, great authors. Do you know authors. how many books might be missing? Exactly six. Six? Six books were taken. Uh, but also, underneath a uh, something that looks like it's fallen down the back of the main table in the study, you managed to find a, a journal that was written mm -hmm. by Douglas Kimball. Dougie? Do you think that he might be related? <laughs> <laughs> Douglas Kimball. We don't know who that is, do we? No, wait. That's your uncle. Uh, it's not that's my uncle. uncle. I'm Tom. You're... It's uh, Thomas Kimball's Tom, Tom... uncle. Right. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Un the journal. The journal. Okay, now, to make it simpler, he's written Uncle Dougie's journal on it. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, he will only, I'll exclusively call him Uncle Dougie. Okay. Okay, now, you know how this works when you find someone's journal. Always look at the last page. Oh, that's where the juicy gossip is. That's where it is, you know, oh, everything's terrible. I th oh, there's a man, he's following me. <laughs> there always, There's always something like that. Yes, don't start at the beginning, that's when it's boring. Yes, yes. Okay, let's Maybe go to Maybe a mysterious end. dog and following oh, I him. I do hope so, I do love dogs. Okay, oh. let's look at the back. Mm, uh, okay, yeah, going to the last entry, uh, seeing, so normally I would have made you do a little roll, but because you specified that you wanted to go to this, well, you can have it, baby. Uh, yeah. yeah, the final, the final entry in the journal just says, I've just, uh, I need a different voice for him. Hello. Hello. Of Sabiro. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's me, Uncle Dougie. <laughs> uh, no, I think he'll speak a little more. Speak a little more gravitas. Mm. Uh, the, the last entry, which is dated about a year ago, uh, mm. says, I've reached a decision. I've decided to join my friends below. <gasps> and that's it. That's the last entry. And that is from the day before he went missing. Well, that's not very... Uh, it's very ominous, isn't it? I don't know if we should check a little bit further forward of the journal. Do you think he talks about who these uh, so-and-so friends are? Yeah, further back. Oh, sorry, yes, further back. Further forward will be blank pages. You're right, you're right. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. You're right. You're always right, aren't you, Perry? Um, is it possible to just have a little look further forward, see if he talks about these friends below? Uh, Yeah, you can give me a little... Control-F friends. Control-F friends. Yeah, but manually, analogue. Um, you dig through it, but you do not find any solid reference to them. Maybe uh, one from a, a few years earlier saying, "I met, I met a new friend today." Oh, that's nice. Uh, and it's one of the only times he ever references mm. kind of talking or sort of 
really interacting with other people in the book. The rest is today I repaired a watch. <laughs> I love reading <laughs> uh, things like that. Got she got she. But there's not really references to anyone anyone else in this book apart from that. Perry, who do you think is below his friends below are then? What's that all about? I think we need to ask his nephew some questions. Yeah, it's a bit dodgy sounding, isn't it? See if he knows of any friends his uncle may have had or or whether his uncle had much of a social life. Or... Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Thomas! Thomas, darling, can we speak to you, please? Oh, uh, yes. Um, do you want to come down here or do you want me to come up there? Either or. Uh, we'll come to you. Excellent. You stay right there. You can... <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. What a weird interaction. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, you can hear the, the, you know, the snapping of pigeon necks as oh, he's uh, just... <laughs> Putting a how many pigeons is he killing? Ten pigeon pie is how many pigeons I use. God. No, it's in the oven. It's good to go. But there's a pile of feathers on the kitchen table. Oh. Ghastly. So your dinner's made. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Thomas, darling, we um we found something quite peculiar in your uncle's journal. He mentions he's joining his friends below. Does that mean anything to you? Oh, I I, I wouldn't. I don't know about that at all. Uh. No, my uncle, he was quite a solitary, solitary person. I believe he only really put up with my company because we are blood relatives, and I think I didn't pester him too much. He didn't socialise? He didn't have, like, a club that he would go to? No, not not so much. Uh, didn't frequent any bars or...? No, um, no, I honestly, I didn't really spend that much time with him, but he was a bit of a... He kept to himself. A bit of a loner. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe he had corresponded with some people. Maybe he exchanged yes. letters with some friends. Well, if he did have any letters, be in you would study. have found them in his study. That's and true, yes. by the sounds of it, you did a very good job finding hidden things in there. Mm. We certainly did. And did. so I yeah. would have no idea hmm. about that whatsoever. Well, how peculiar. Um, I, like I don't missing something. Yes, yeah. I don't. I don't know him super well, but maybe some of the neighbors. I know a couple of them have lived around here for a long time. But yes. I'm. I. They might know of his comings and goings. Let's have a talk to the neighbors. That'll be fun. We'll have a little talk yes, with the neighbors. Let's do that. Is there anyone you would recommend? Uh, I have only lived here a little while. There's um a few neighbors. Is there a nosy neighbor that you know? I oh, hope he's young they, and handsome. Yes, uh, maybe you could catch up with Mrs. Odell. Mrs. Odell. Mrs. Odell. Mrs. Odell. Let's go have a uh, chat. She lives a few doors down. Um, she's uh, awfully rude, though. Oh. No, uh, I think she just doesn't like me um, because I am a humble pigeon catcher. <laughs> and, and murderer. <laughs> <laughs> a pigeon murderer. Yes. Uh, and <laughs> The flesh. I consume yes. the flesh of my victims. Mm. And yeah, Mrs. Odell, I but she's always putting her nose in other people's business. Which number is it she lives at? Number number eight. Number eight. Excellent. Down we'll the just road. Snip round, have a little see if she's in. Perfect. Uh yeah. Um Come okay. come, Maggie. Okay, Perry, let's go. Uh I oh, mean, oh, that's the, just role playing. The foley work is good shit, so really. good. Oh, theatre of the mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so it was getting to kind of late, late afternoon now, mm -hmm. and because you guys were in the place for a good couple of hours, uh, around tea time maybe, and yeah, you head up to number eight. It has you know lovely, lovely potted plants outside. Ooh. It all looks very well maintained. Any signs in the window or anything? Yeah, no soliciting. Yeah, that's quite typical. Yeah. And as you are approaching, uh, give me a spot hidden. God. What's that? 27. Not the easiest dice to read, I'm going to be honest with you. But... <laughs> yeah, they're very pretty dice. <laughs> yeah. Your special Cthulhu dice, mm -hmm. but uh, legibility a little low. Uh, what's your... How good are you at spotting? That is under 30. So Great. That's... That's pass. Great success. Uh, it's a standard success if we're going to be... But it's under half. Oh, it's under half. Oh, okay. Yeah, really good success. Excellent. Uh, yeah, so it's a hard success at that stage. 
so when you guys are rolling your percentile dice, you might have a skill that would be, let's say you have 60 in an ability. Uh, if you ever roll half of that number, or below half of that, so if you were to roll a, below a 30, that would then be considered a hard success rather than a regular success, mm. potentially giving you some little advantages. Uh, if you ever roll a quarter of the number, so if you were to roll below 15, that would be known as an extreme success, right. which means very good. Or some of us get crit successes oh. every bloody roll we do. Or is it a fifth? Yeah, well, I think I'll let you have the next roll. <laughs> uh, well, as you're approaching, you definitely notice the curtains twitching. Mm -hmm. And as you make eye contact with the person who's staring out, uh, they instantly, instantly pull away. But they're definitely, definitely okay. watching. A good confident knock on the door. So they know that we've seen them. They can't pretend that they're not in, can they? Perry, I think you should let me handle this. You're a little bit um, scary looking. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, with that scary, with that big top hat you wear and the flowing coattails, you might. It's a, it's a cloak. <laughs> Give it its proper name. It's a cloak. Oh, so you did decide on the cloak then? <laughs> I guess I did. <laughs> Just now. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, okay. Well. I'll do the honours of knocking, mm, and mm. you do the chatting, okay? Yeah, okay. Uh, hel hello. Uh, how, how can I help you? Uh, do you not see the sign? It says no soliciting. Oh. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. We're not I do not wish to uh, buy any of your... Your wares. No, 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 sorry, sorry. We're not here to do any of the such. We just wanted to have a quick chat with you, uh, ma'am, if that'd be okay. Uh, give me either you can choose an appearance roll or a credit rating. One or the other. Um, I will do credit rating. Cool. And I rolled a 40. I got another <clears throat> one of those spooky boys. Ooh. Um, I got a 40. Uh, okay, great. So that is a pass. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can... You can clearly see this uh, this lady. She's kind of like an older woman, but she's pretty well dressed, uh, wearing kind of clothes of the fashion. Uh -huh. Of the time, of the fashion. And... Onion on her belt. <laughs> she has an onion on her belt. A good, it's a reference. <laughs> and... <laughs> she... Yeah, she really looks you to up and down, and you can tell that she is kind of we're smartly Iron dressed. You up. But you can see that kind of like hits, meets her approval. And I'm she's rich. like, <laughs> we're just smiling sweetly at her. <laughs> she's like, well, okay, mm. yes, what What can I help you with? You're definitely not here to sell anything, are you? No, 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 my darling, I'm absolutely minted. I don't need to sell anything. <laughs> okay, oh, uh, yes, um, oh, me, uh, me too. Of uh, yes. uh, Okay, what can I, what can I help you with? Uh, we were wondering if we could just ask you about your neighbour, uh, Mr. Dougie Kimball. Oh, Uncle Dougie. Uncle Dougie. Uncle. <laughs> well, he's not my uncle, but... People would refer to him as Uncle Dougie. Oh, was he a sweet man? To avoid confusion. He was a very he was, he was a nice he was a nice boy. Nice um nice nice fellow. Uh he was quite quiet. He kept to himself, which I, I approved of. Mm. He kept his property looking nice. Kept himself to himself, you would say. He kept himself mm. uh to himself. <laughs> uh, why do you why do you ask? I'm it doesn't his nephew live there now. I thought he died about a year ago. Well, see, that's the thing. He went missing. He's never actually been found. And his lovely little nephew has uh, given us the task of trying to find him. Well, I think the the boy, he's he bashes pigeons' heads with a brick. I've seen him do that out back. That's frightful, uh, isn't it? Yes. I, I don't... I feel like he should have just given up. And Uncle Dougie is clearly dead. Well, well, tell them, tell her, Perry, what we found in the, the journal. We found the journal. Why are you showing me some old <clears throat> dead man's journal? Don't worry about the journal. It's just that we we, we found what you might call a clue. Um, it seems that Dougie had some friends. Friends? No, I never saw him with friends once. I always see him just sat alone. Have you been watching him? Oh, I like to just keep 
keep tabs on what's going on that's, in the neighborhood. That's very good of you. That's uh, actually very good of you to take that responsibility. Make sure there's no uh, just riffraff yes. hanging around. Yes. No, you don't uh, want that. But, so what would he do when he would just be sitting around? Well, um, I'd often see him going over to the old cemetery. Um, oh. It's uh, a little bit further out back behind his house. Um, and I'd often walk past there uh, to pay my respects to my late husband, who also died in the Great War. Oh, darling, I know, yes. And uh, often frightful. Uncle Dougie would be, he'd be sat, sat out there just reading. He, was, he loved to read. Let us see what he was reading, what it said on the front cover of the book. It was books. But on oh. the front, on the front, you know, like it says, um, you know, the great expectations or what have you. What did, did it say on the front? I <laughs> didn't, I didn't like to pry. No. Uh, and it, honestly, he f it always felt like he just wants to be keeping to himself. Did he always go to the same spot? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I couldn't tell you. I just remember seeing him in the cemetery. Hmm. Well, we should go and have a look at the cemetery, don't you think, Perry? No, yeah, maybe maybe he had a relative buried there, or yes, yes. Maybe just like the peace and quiet. Okay, well, thank you so much, Mum, for your help. Thank you, you are... so much, Miss um, Odell. Wait, how do you know my name? Cheese it. Just run away. <laughs> Sure, sure. Let's spam a mint in shock. Sure. Okay, great. Love it. Okay, Jesus. Guilty it. conscience or something. Jesus. So, uh, as you run, you can see her stood there just looking baffled. <laughs> just so confused. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you're, you're just getting out of there. Yeah. Right, uh, Perry, let's go to the cemetery that that old woman was talking about. Let's Did go you there. almost call her an old bad? <laughs> almost a little bit, yes. Okay. Tell you what, I've been sneaking a little bit of the old whiskey on the go. Oh. <laughs> I am terribly That's bored. That's you know. <laughs> I, well, you know. I have a little bit. <laughs> okay, Perry. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. So you guys are just walking along. <laughs> swigging. <laughs> swigging <laughs> from the hip flask. <laughs> wow, you are exactly the kind of riffraff. That Mrs. O'Dell did not want around no, here. Yeah, no. she didn't need to know that, though, no, did she? She didn't. Oh, she's watching. She's I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make a spot hidden check for her. Ooh, 73. Probably not. No, no she can not see. Uh, okay, great. So, yeah, you head along to the cemetery. It's a little mm. bit of a walk from here that you need to kind of go uh, in a big, big loop, but you end up kind of not too far from uh, the, the back of the Kimball's house and it's kind of like set darkly behind it. You head over to the graveyard, and it's pretty pretty well kept. It's pretty nice, but lush with vegetation. Mm. Uh, like big, big tall bushes, uh, ancient trees. Uh, you know, there's scattered mausoleums and gravestones. Uh, this, this place, you can definitely tell, is old. But well tended to. But, but very well tended. Not overgrown. No, but no. Large vegetation. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, big bushes, large vegetations. You know all those things that I just said. Yeah. Um. So where do we start, Perry? You know anything about nature? Um. I don't actually believe I do. If I'm honest, I'm no. more of a law girl, more of a sort of you know complicated bits and bobs. Not really into nature. Okay. <laughs> But you know what we could do? We could have a look at the gravestones and see if we find anyone who's got a Kimball as the as last a, name. Yes. Maybe see if he's got a relative Oh, they're probably around. alphabetical. That's oh, how they do no, it. That's not the... how it works. No, no, no. I, I think that's how they do it. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do that. <laughs> Go find K. Why would it be alphabetical? Uh, you know, just good planning. <laughs> good planning. Planning in advance. Weirdly, yeah. There's As you walk around, you notice that the gravestones are alphabetical in this place. <laughs> Wild. Let's that's, go to K. That's the scariest thing so far. <laughs> the, they planned. Also, they're all like perfectly spaced. There's no gaps between, but everyone is alphabetical so far. Oh they knew. God, planned. They knew what was going Look, on. Perry, they've got one laid up for you, ready to go. Isn't that nice? Oh. <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> I hope they don't. <laughs> uh, so as you, um, like, this isn't even my real name. I mean, uh, <laughs> what? Uh, yes. <laughs> Rut row. Uh, so as you uh, walk around. You are admiring the gravestones, uh, looking looking for a Kimball. Kimball, no. and uh, you don't you don't uh, find a Kimball. No, no. Uh, but in the distance, you can see a groundskeeper who's 
just tending to some bushes. He's got some shears, he's just clipping away, and a rake, he's doing some raking as well. Nice. Uh, just double, double team in that. My goodness. Um, should we go have a word with that gentleman over there, see what he knows about it? I say, my good fellow! Oh, uh, good af afternoon. Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> yep. A lovely graveyard. It's wonderfully kept, sir. Yep, that's yep, that's me doing it. Yeah, I'm kind of a bit bit busy here. It wouldn't look this good if uh you know, I didn't didn't keep up my work. Can't can't chat and chat work at the same time as they say. That's the saying in my household. Sure. <laughs> uh yep, yeah, I'll what what are you up to? Let me have a little word with him. Would I use my womanly words, sure? yes, Perry? Yes. Okay, stand back. Let the let the master work. <coughs> Hello, sorry. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> just this whole thing. He's just stood there. He's now erection visible. <laughs> already. Now, okay. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Right. Um, hello, sir. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm a bit of a dramsel in distress. Um, uh, um, I had a friend who lives around here, and um, I think he went missing, and I was wondering if you ever saw him around here. His <laughs> name was Dougie. Fuck me. Uh, okay, give me a charm or persuade roll. I'll let either of those. Uh, 28. Uh, 28. So, charm, uh, yes, is 50, so I'm good to go. Oh, I should probably have described what the guy looks like as well. I just like skipping over that. Theatre of the mind. Mm. What did describe how this guy looked to you? I think like you. Like me. He looks like me. Rugged and long, big beard. Long. Bushy. Bit unkempt. Unkempt. And if smelly. only he. If only he really was smelly. Still grooming his beard as he was the bushes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Disgusting. A bit hideous. A bit unkempt. Dirty hideous. Gross. Dirty. Filthy. Gross man. Wretched. Okay. Wow. Well, just opened. Wretched. Opened myself to that. Uh, Oh, uh, you're looking for the gravestone of Dougie. Uh, no, 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 sorry. I didn't... What are you, what no, are you no, looking for? No, sorry. sorry. He, no, he's uh, a... I could spare a couple of minutes. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> he no. starts uh, smoking, a, smoking a cigarette. A rolly. Uh, can you roll me a spot hidden? Um, I'm going to get Lydia. Those are my bloody uh, dice. Get your hands off them. To Perry? roll me a spot hidden, because you're the one kind of directly chatting to him. 55... Uh, 45, and so unfortunately I missed. Okay. Um, you're welcome to push it, but if you push, you may end up offending him or not sure really how. Mm. Um, or I can let... Let the old peepers. Let man. Perry. Perry, Perry have a... That's Perry what call me. Perry peepers. I'm good. Actually, I don't like that nickname. <laughs> Perry peepers. <laughs> no, it sounds like a very it. different... Um, what's that? 30. 31. That's good. That's almost okay. a hard, but it's not. You all kind of stood off to one side, and you notice as he kind of puts his lighter back into his pocket, uh, you can see that he's got like a, a bottle of alcohol in his overalls. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, just a some kind of spirit spirit bottle. Uh, so anyway, uh, what can I uh, help you with? You want to know about Uncle Dougie? Uh, yeah, see, is it a bit complicated? Uh, he's not dead per se; he's missing. But we know that he used to come to the well, cemetery. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, yeah, he's well, he's been gone for a while, and uh, I miss him every day. <laughs> really? You were close. <laughs> well, we we uh, have chats. He used to come here almost every day, and uh, he'd sit and read, and sometimes we'd have a chat because. Uh, I won't bother him too much, but we talk about all kinds of things. The weather, politics, no. books sometimes. Oh. Uh, but, you know, I'm not one who likes talking a lot, and neither was he, and so we got on like a house on fire. Was there a spot in particular that he would sit and read his oh, books? Oh, yeah, there was a gravestone uh, that he always loved to, loved to sit on. He was a big fan of it. Will you take us over it to it, please, sir? Uh, sure, it's right over here. I'm going a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thank you for the extra foley. Yeah, um, yeah, he takes you to uh, this this kind of big big gravestone, um, and you can see it's kind of very very old and is polished smooth by just weather and smooth, as in you can't read anything on it. There's no no uh, text on it whatsoever. 
Uh, well, that's a bit of a pisser, isn't it? But you can you get the feeling that all of this area, like it's just really picturesque. It's real, real nice. We're getting kind of a vibe. It's just mm. a great, like just a great spot. If you wanted to sit and read, mm. maybe have a sandwich, mm. drink out of your thermos, if they've been invented yet. <laughs> well, we've got our, well, we got our whiskey, didn't we? Maggie's got her. Flask. We've got my flask. Uh. But yeah, so uh, yeah, he, he would come here almost every day and uh, and hang out. Do you know whose grave this used to belong to before it got all you know smooth and stuff? Oh, uh, no idea. Uh, I've worked here for twenty years, but this effect probably took two hundred years. Oh dear. A hundred. I'm just making stuff <laughs> up. <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, you, you said he read, and you talked about books. Did he ever tell you what kind of books he was reading? Just all sorts. One week he'd be reading all about the world's fastest bird. The next week he'd be reading about, you know, pirates. Hmm, how interesting. He loved to read. Anything he could get his hands on. Did he read aloud? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not many people okay. do, Perry. <laughs> no, he would just sit <laughs> there and people. read read to himself. <laughs> Not many people sit and have read aloud. Well, like, well, I mean, if you were, you know, sitting by a grave, you might want to read ah. the story. Ah, the, yes. The entombed. Yes, yes, Underneath. Yes, yes. Quite, quite. The soil. Quite. Um, oh, uh, I've, like, he's f- kind of finishes his cigarette and like, oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I've, I've got to, I've got to get back to I've got to get back to work. Is there nothing else you can tell us? Anything weird or strange that he did or said that you thought unusual at the time? Uh, no. Uh, can you give me, like, a psychology? Oh. You, I don't have... 60 I've got in it, okay. so I've got a chance. What we got? 77. <laughs> what do you get? 77. That's oh. <clears throat> so... Uh, something else that you are able to do, because how much did you fail by? 17. So, you have an amount of luck. I do. And if you want to, if you ever really want to pass a roll, you're able to spend your luck. I could just push it, because this is our last interaction with him. So what does it matter? Okay, so you can can tell kind of he's a little bit uncomfortable uh, over something that you had said when... You were talking about like reading aloud I'm like in my and mind palace. reading to you know the people below. He looked a bit like weird oh. about that. Oh. Um, okay. So if you want to really kind of it. Pr- not, probe into that, sixty-two. So this is where, if you'd like to, you can spend some of your luck. So I can use two luck. If you spend two luck, then you'll pass that test. Okay, so I'm on fifty, so I'll be down to just forty-eight. And so uh, that's basically a way for you to be able to pass tests. Mm. But at time, I'm going to ask you to make a luck roll. And You don't want to fuck yourself over. If you have low luck, mm. you're more likely to fail that. And so this. it's dangerous to spend too much luck because okay. often if... That's how accidents happen. That's how accidents happen. Yeah. So using your psychology, your great psychology... Uh, you can tell he's he's hiding something, and he looks really worried and concerned. I've uh, I've got to I've got to go. Um, I've got to get back to work. This place looks like shit without me, so uh, I've got to uh, just do that. Uh, wait, wait. Is, is something troubling you, sir? Is it is it about the people below? Uh, you uh, get out of here! Oh, oh, wait, wait! I see you've got a drink in your in your in your pocket there. Um, I've got some very, 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 very expensive whiskey. Would you like a little bit of maybe you tell us about those people below? Uh, oh well, uh, oh I do, oh, I do it's enjoy it. Very a... nice. I bet the stuff you've got there tastes like absolute. Fish guts. Probably make it at home, don't yes. you? In, a, in your bathtub, in your which dust, I dare say you've not used in many a year. <laughs> I do. You I do. Stinky man. Stinky I do man. all of that. Whereas this is very, very, very. Now very tell us what we need to know. <laughs> oh, I do all of those. I do all of those things. 
Don't give me some of the good stuff. <laughs> All right, it's a deal. You can have a a, a a shot of this if you tell us a bit more about the people down below. Oh, I want the bowl. A whole body bottle. Can we do fair. a swap, sees? I don't know. I think he's got some kind of disease. What's wrong with his mouth? It's sort of it's crusty. Alcohol, dear. It's it crust- kills diseases. It's, oh, true. I am stood right here. He's got you a know. very crusty mouth. Very you crusty face. Want- <laughs> there is a lot of... Is it room? <laughs> That's just sort of... Rim. Room. <laughs> room. Rim. Room. Room. R-H-E-U-M. Room. 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 Why, uh, I thought you were trying to get information on me and it just sounds like you want to harass me i tell you what you can have the whole bottle darling don't worry i've got six or seven in my bag uh here you go (laughs) good to know dear here you go okay uh yeah he takes takes a big big slug out of it uh look i'm not crazy or nothing but you know right here i don't like to stick around too long because i see I see Uncle Dougie's ghost. I see dead people. I see dead people. <laughs> My goodness. And uh, uh, at night, when the moon's bright, I see it's the ghost of Uncle Dougie. He comes up and he sits. Is he sits, transparent? Uh, no, he's like a like a like a shadow of a man. But, Silvery or no? I just see him Dark. from a distance. I would never approach. I don't want to tussle with the dead. I just make sure the graveyard's looking nice. I don't bother them. They don't bother me. But uh, sometimes at night, I, I, I see him sat here, and I'm sure it's the ghost, the ghost of Doggy. Does he sit in that? Is it the same? He grave sits thing? the exact same spot. You can see the, the butt butt patch. His butt patch. His buttocks. That's my goodness. He had a big fat grass ass. Flat. <laughs> uh, but it's on ovals. Uh, yeah, on this on this grave, yeah, you can see. My goodness. And yeah, I, he comes here. He comes here at night, and I I never approach. Does he too... have a book with him? Yeah, he does actually. How queer. I think yeah, I, and that's he's because he died, you know, oh a year ago. Goodness. He did die then. Uh, uh, Uncle. Uh, is it? Sorry. Well, I heard he died. He went missing, actually. Yeah, but you know what they say. Once you're missing, you're dead. Once you're missing, you're dead. <laughs> that is the famous saying. That's of the time. what they say in the nineteen. 19- that That's what they say in the nineteen twenties, though. Oh, yes, yes, nineteen twenties. Yeah, which is when we live. We are living right now. Yeah. Uh, you say the moon is bright. Is it just sort of full moon, or is it any time of the day? Uh, any time of night, he comes out. Well, when the moon is bright, you know, you've got to be able to read. Uh, I guess. Ah, yes. Enough yes. like to look at a book, maybe. Or not. He just there's just a ghost here. Oh. I probably should be doing some work. All right, bye then. <laughs> Why, are, you, are, you, are you making End fun of, of me? Conversation. <laughs> thank you for your help. I hope you enjoy um, the whiskey. Uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, please off. don't mess up the place. We wouldn't dream of it. Uh, wait, sir. Would you what? mind if we were to uh, hang around here at, at night? To, uh, spend some oh, time I here? wouldn't if I was you. Oh, because of the. The ghost. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yes, the ghost. Oh, the the ghost. G- it's a bad, bad the ghost. ghost. Don't want to approach that. Right, right, right. Real right. spooky. Okay. See, I warned you that it was going to get spooky. T- this guy's talking about a ghost mm. in a graveyard. Can't get much more spooky mm-hmm. than That's that. Top tier spooky. And the spooky. ghost sits and reads. <laughs> it does. The spookiest of activities. <laughs> I mean, maybe that is scarier. Like just doing something mundane. Like if you walk into your kitchen and you see like a spectral figure just making a sandwich... That would be scarier than if it was like hovering over your bed upside down with blood coming out of its eyes, right? I'm going to strongly disagree. Yeah, actually, I think you're yeah. right. I think yeah. making a sandwich no. is definitely spookier so. than no. sawing its own head off over <laughs> yeah. your bed, yeah. floating and screaming uh, yeah. screaming my name over and over yeah. again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it. No, I don't agree. Okay. Okay. Where do you keep the butter? That's what the... Ghost in the ghost kitchen. Like, it's in the fridge, you dumb ghost. <laughs> well, that's no good. It's hard to spread it on your sandwich. That's true, actually. Yeah, like, God, I keep putting it back in the fridge. I completely agree with that ghost. I'm sorry, ghost. <laughs> Wisdom of the undead. Wow. Uh, okay, right. Well, I'm going to go and just do some more graveyard groundskeeper kind of stuff. <laughs> Ta-ta! Um, Bye! Uh, watch out, because, you know... It's getting dark. Yeah, and I think it's a full moon tonight as well, Maggie. How convenient. Ooh, roll me a luck. 
It has to be. Roll right? me a look. Oh, he's not going to come okay. out of his Well, not. I passed it. Lovely. So. 20. Oh, it turns out it is a full moon tonight. That's crazy. I'm going. <laughs> I've got to get I got to get home. <laughs> All right, then. He heads off. Um so while, also while you're at mm. the uh while you're in this area and he's kind of like left you alone. Uh give me give me another sort of spot spot hidden type thing. It feels very peaceful here. It's very peaceful, mm. very nice. Uh, right. Oh, bloody hell. 79. Ooh. Oh, very not. It's real pretty. Um, <laughs> just great area. Good. Is there something wrong with the earth? Do I have to ambience. look around the earth? Yeah, great. Give me a... See if there's anything there. Yeah, give me a roll. Like a little trap door or something. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got there? What's that? 40. So, yeah, that's good. That's a pass. 60 is my skill. Yeah, as you, um... As you kind of look around, you notice that there, there's some kind of like weird tracks leading away from this gravestone. Like... Human like, footprints? No, definitely not human. Something else. Like... Like, like a dog? Like bestial, but like maybe... Cloven hoofed? Cloven hoofed, maybe, yeah. Yeah, a like goat. a... Like a but like big, a big goat. It's the devil, Perry. It's the devil's feet. Uh, yeah, they lead away from there over to sort of a uh, like a like a mausoleum. So like a big big kind of stone stone building. I don't know shed size stone building. You know what a mausoleum is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, Say, so look look here, Maggie. It's there are footprints like that of a very large goat. And they lead. Oh my goodness. They lead over to this mausoleum. Oh. This large building the made of stone. Straight to the front door. It's like, it's tastefully overgrown, as if the the ivy and the plants that are growing on it have been very carefully manicured mm. by just a really good groundskeeper. What's the door like to it? Is it like iron? A, or which a really or? big piece of heavy stone. Jesus. What, what does it say on the mausoleum? Who does this belong to? Oh, nothing important at all. It just says the mausoleum mm. of famous local family from this area. Ah, yeah. Uh. Right. What do you think these big uh, goat prints are all about then? I don't think their hands are meant to be that big, are they? These are gigantic. What's that all about, Perry? Do you get big goats? Big boys? Big, big, big boy goats? <laughs> Billy, big boy, big boy goats? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> do you, Perry? <laughs> no? Okay, never mind then. <laughs> How do I even respond to that? I... Uh, I'm. S I've no idea. Maybe someone's placing these tracks to throw people off the scent. Maybe someone's wearing fake shoes mm. in the shape of hooves. Bizarre, very Hoof bizarre. Shoes. Hoof shoes. Hoof shoes. Hoof shoes. <laughs> shoes. Wonderful. Okay. Maybe we need to. Maybe we need to get in here. Yes. Yes. Let's break this, in. That'll be this fun. This seems like a terrible idea. No. 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 This is jolly good fun, Perry. I mean, Let's I, break in. I don't really believe in like ghostly things that that much no well you see in my library i had lots of books about ghosts and stuff and they were really really quite interesting it's nonsense no though. it's, it's great to scare people oh. and, and fascinate them and give them the willies wait a minute you let me talk to the ghost of my husband that was a while ago. We, we've been <laughs> through that, haven't we? It oh. gave you some closure. Oh, yes, yes. Dicky. You Dickie. enjoyed old Dicky, didn't you? <laughs> I certainly did, old Dicky. Yes. Um, I think we should break into this mausoleum. I think it'll be fun. Let's do it like an adventure. Is there a lock on this? Uh, not, no obvious lock at all. It feels Just... like you could you could maybe try and push this thing open. Is a source of light? But... I'm, mm. I've, I'm very do you weak. Smear? I do like a little cigarette you after smear? dinner. Yeah, yes, yes. Do you have a lighter? I have a lighter on me. I do actually. Okay. I actually do everything. I take drugs and I drink and I smoke and I gamble. <laughs> it's the only way to keep life interesting. Here we go. Here's a lighter. Okay. Oh. Well, you're I guess gonna... I'm holding it then. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to go first? Go first. Yes, well, Perry. You're the man. You go first. <laughs> I'm gonna need some kind of. This is a big, solid piece of stone. A mm. uh, strength test. We need to lever it with something. We need to find something to 
to you know make the lever do the work for us. Sure. Yeah. I'll go find a stick. Well, is there a, like a loose railing or something around? A loose bit of iron. Uh, roll me luck. What have we got? 47, and I've got 48 luck. Oh. Perfect. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, that looks like a grief. A railing that you could okay. maybe pry. Time to do a bit of a, a Gordon Freeman <laughs> bit of action here. Ooh. Wow, who's Gordon Freeman in the 1920s? <laughs> he has a, a series of chapbooks. <laughs> okay, him. right, the, the those penny novels. Yes, the yellow horror thing. Okay, yes. great. He's an adventurer, like Conan. Conan. <laughs> Conan. Conan, the barbarian. He's <laughs> more of a thief than a barbarian, really. But... Conan. Oh, Gordon Freeman? But the word barbarian sort of changed its meaning the... over the years. But okay. Oh. Uh, okay, well, oh, seeing as you... Are we strengthening this in some sense? You're going to be using your strength. Uh, because I was going to make this a hard test, but because you've got yourself a bar... Uh, mm. A pry bar. I will let you do this as a regular strength test. Oh, great. Uh, see, I just I kind of noticed we're both quite bloody weak, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, God, I love the idea of just two you nerds. two, like, fancy people. We went stood to our there, conference. Like, but, like, just. Two rich folks who are just like sipping your alcohol. They're like, "Oh, Perry, we're, we're so terribly weak, aren't we? We're awful at this adventure business." Just the... oh, wouldn't it be naughty if we went in this mausoleum, <laughs> just goofing around, just being assholes? Okay, great. Roll right. me some strength. What we got? Lovely. Twenty-three. That is a great success. Or okay. Success. Right. Uh, the. You manage to crack this thing open, and it kind of moves off to one side. I want a constitution roll from both of you. Mm. All right, then. Mm. So your constitution is one of your oh, stats yes. at the top. 31, that's good. I got 50. Uh, don't bugger. 75. Uh, the stench that comes out of here mm. is absolutely putrid. Is she going to puke? You vomit <laughs> violently. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell! It is so bad. Uh, you managed to, uh, Peregrine, you managed to hold in your... You can not believe the things I've smelled in my day. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but you... I was in a war. Were you at the... The Great War. <laughs> oh, okay, yes. He 100% was. So... Yeah, you have just vomited. Vomited oh, everywhere. I shouldn't have had all that whiskey and opiates. <laughs> <laughs> just Should sipping. have eaten a pigeon pie so you'd have something. Oh, so some cool. ballast, oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, but yeah, holding the lighter forwards that you use for lighting your cigarillos. Yeah, you can see that normally inside one of these mausoleums, there'd just be kind of some, you know, some plinths to where bodies would be stored, coffins would be entombed here, uh, but there appears to be some kind of hand-dug tunnel just going down into the dirt. Oh my goodness me! See that, Perry? You go down there first! <laughs> um... Do we really need... What, what are we just gonna... What are we gonna find down here? Think about this. A well, giant it, rabbit? Yeah, well, well, it might be... Um, What's his name? Dougie. Dougie, what's his face? He might be down there Dougie? living there like a little squirrel or something, you know, living underground. Like a... Oh, is this why it's called Dougie? Because he's dugging oh, I was... a hole. Yes. A great big hole. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dougie... We crack the case. Ah! <laughs> Dougie, Dougie hole. Dougie, yes. Dougie hole. It's the Dougie, Dougie hole man. <laughs> <laughs> great. Uh, we can, we've got to get down there, uh, this, uh, Perry. Perry? Do you think we should be more prepared for this? What, 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 I didn't sign up to go crawling around in filth. But, uh, Perry, I'm bored. Please. <laughs> I'm bored. <laughs> it's all I bloody hear from you, woman. <laughs> Please, Perry. Come on, for me, for Maggie. For old Maggie. <laughs> We've got uh, the lighter, and also I've got this little pistol. You see, I take it with me everywhere. Okay, you get your pistol out. Right. Be prepared. Okay, I've got my pistol. There you go. I've got the lighter, and um, oh, I've still got this iron bar I guess I can poke something with. Wonderful. <laughs> if Great. a giant rabbit comes <laughs> barreling at me down this hole. How big is this hole? Oh, yeah, a bit about man size. You're going to have to hunch 
hunch a little bit. So we're but not crawling on all fours. No, no, That's it's got a little bit of room. Oh, good, good. Okay. So yeah, are you oh, going into? Christ, I guess we are. Into the abyss. This is awful. How exciting! Let's go. This is like um that that the was the Borderlands film. A bit like the that. Scots. Uh, yeah. yeah. Or the uh, aforementioned barbarian. Okay. Oh, yes. Picture, a, if, you know, channel that kind yeah. of energy. As above, so below, maybe. Yep. Yeah. That. So you are going down and you go through the, the packed mud and dirt. And yeah, you can definitely see that this was this was made by hands, uh, not by tools. The All of the walls are finger scraped and dug out. Mm-hmm. And this thing goes deep. Uh, as Is this you... what Dougie's been doing for the last year? Just digging a hole? I wonder where maybe he has. Maybe he's living. We might find him down here, Perry. He might be living down here. What sort of condition is he going to be he's in? He's going to be frightfully smelly, isn't he? He's uh, lost his mind. Yeah. Do you want to... You can give me an idea roll. What the and that's fuck? basically just rolling against your intelligence. Well, thanks. Whether, what, we get an idea? Well, as like a, a way just to like get some information. It's a way... So, for an idea, is if you guys ever get stuck, I can let you have idea rolls, and it's a way for me to feed you information. No, it's uh, or to stop you, or just to help you out. Things that your characters might know that you guys wouldn't necessarily know. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to give me an idea roll, seventy two, which is just fine because I've got eighty. Good lord. Uh, Quite smart, I am. Okay, you have now been walking for, huh. let's say, 15 minutes. My goodness. Uh, winding down into this place. This is way, way too much dirt for one person to excavate by hand. But this has definitely been dug by hands. Barry, what if it's a cult? What if there's a bunch of raving lunatics down here and they're gonna gonna tie us up and and skin our beautiful luscious long hair off that we both have we certainly do both have <laughs> our characters do at least um is there a harbor nearby or a dock or coast could this tunnel be leading to the coast and they're like transporting booze through this tunnel <gasps> Oh. A smuggler's Boot tunnel. Bootlegging. Bootlegging. Yeah. Uh, as you as you're walking along, uh, you notice there there's like bones in here. Oh dear. Jesus. Are they human bones? Ooh, you're gonna have to make some kind of roll on that. Anthropology. Uh, maybe. Ah, yes. Look, I'll I... let you roll on whatever you want to roll. Anthropology. I mean, I... Oh, what about um... anthropology is more knowing about the kind yeah, of library don't... use. That's more using library. library. Use. Oh, I thought it might be like... To identify bones. My books. If you... If there was have, a book of bones in front <laughs> of you. If you've got any kind of medical, any kind of biology, uh, you definitely know they're bones. I can give you that. I don't think what I've got anything, got? no. Got nothing. French? Oh, yeah. Le, le okay, roll me, roll me a, a dice on French then. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this reminds me of my trips to Sweet Paris. Oh, bugger. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Actually, it turns out I don't know what this is because I rolled a 60. And I okay, a well, there's there's definitely bones. Mm, yeah, okay. Appraise to determine the value of the bones. <laughs> the value of the bones. <laughs> if you were selling them to a bone collector, maybe they would buy these bones. I'm really not sure about this. Mm. Uh, I don't think any of us know shit about anything biological. No, we didn't really think ahead about that kind of stuff, did we? Never well, mind. These may be human bones. Well, they may be a big. Well, they may be a mouse or a rabbit. I'm not sure. I can't tell. They're, they're big. <laughs> it's, uh, you can identify. Well, maybe they're tiny human bones. Who knows? But they're. Yeah. That's even worse. Oh, that's even worse. That's sad. Baby bones. I didn't baby say babies. Bones. I said baby tiny. Bones. I said tiny humans, like borrowers. Oh, oh I see. I, okay. All yeah. right, hobbits. I thought you meant baby. No, because they're hobbits. Yeah, they're not really tiny, tiny. And they're not humans. What? And they're not real. <laughs> they're not real. And this is real. This, is, this all is all real. Ghosts is real. Ghosts is real. Uh, yeah. And this this place is. These tunnels are getting more and more complicated. Can I smell anything? Oh, it smells 
disgusting. It smells so bad. You're doing everything Fetid. you can to not sniff right now. Okay. As it is... Wait, did you just take a sniff? No. Was just, that was just a... Uh... I'll roll back that audio, and I will check. I sniff, Tom. Okay, sniff. roll me a constitution test. What's the little sniff? A cheeky 13. Go for oh, yourself. you're into it. You love that. <laughs> I love uh, it. Yeah, it smells so bad. Rotting flesh. Oh. Like, absolutely putrid. Just stink and filth. Ugh. Where are these tunnels going? Are they winding around and around? They're, as like, you go around the graveyard? As you... It, they're going down. Constantly going down. But they Ooh. branch off <gasps> at times. And are just going all over the place. Perry, how are we going to find our way back? I've forgotten if we took a left or a right in the last one. The tunnel's going down, dear. Or we need to go. We need to just go up. But we do, we took a funny turn back there. What are we going around in circles? Perry, I don't like this anymore. I want to go home. I don't like this adventure. It's bored. It, it are you bored? I'm not bored. It's just <laughs> smelly. <Oops. laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, if you guys want to head out, um, I'm going to need a navigate roll. For you guys navigate? to be able to. What the fuck is navigate? Oh my god, that's a skill. Mm, we Ten. Do... We have by default. Oh dear. Oh, but should we keep on going rather than. Maybe we should try and find where this leads. I think we should make the roll just to see what happens. Alright. What's that? 52. 52. That's a Okay, fail. a few hours pass oh. with Perry in the lead. And these are just winding. Uh, would you like to have a go, Perry, let sweet me, Maggie? I'm out of my way, Perry. Let me have a go. Oh, dear. Oh, that's 96. 96? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a fail. That's really bad. So where were you planning on going? Were you... We were planning on going back up. Okay. But not maybe... back, not further down the hole. But maybe now we'll go further down. Ruh -ro. Uh oh. That's the exact opposite of what oh. we wanted. Uh, well, I think um, what we will do here is you will kind of make it to a, a bit of a dead end and you'll find sort of a, a bit of a cavernous room and it's going to be full of bones and these are definitely human bones. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to need a sanity check from both of you, uh, as there are skulls um, and all those other good human bones that people love. So you have to roll against your... 98. <laughs> 98. Oh dear. 98. That's a bad one. What's that? 46. 40 sanity is what I have. Okay, uh, both of you are going to uh, lose 1d4 sanity. Oh, we've got to get the D4s out, Lydia. We've got Ooh. to get the D4s out. It's a new dice. Which one's D4? The little triangle. The, the little, little pyramid. The little cutie. Two. Okay. Two. Two. Also Great. two. Okay. That's fine. So we put sanity down by two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm 48 sanity now. So it's bad to lose 10% of your sanity at once, isn't it? If you lose, it's like 10%, or if you lose five in total. God, there's a couple of different ways to do it. I'm pretty fast and loose with the rules. Okay. Uh, I think if it's right. if we if you lose five, I think the old rules were ten percent. Now it's just if you lose five in one go, then you'll go temporarily insane. Uh, but we don't need to worry about that. We're, just, um, <laughs> we're role playing. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you find this room that is full of skeletons. Spooky skeletons. I don't think these are mouse bones. Barry, I think that's a human skull. Oh. I think it's still got one of the eyes in it. Oh, it's looking at me, Barry. It's looking at me. Oh, no, it's just a worm. Oh, oh God. Oh. <laughs> it's even worse. Uh, so after a few more hours of trudging, you make it back to the entrance. You're going to, you can get out of here. Oh, Oh, big oh. lungfuls of fresh air. Uh, and you can see it is now a beautiful moonlit night. You guys are both covered in filth, absolutely bedraggled from uh, scraping through this place, and you both probably stink pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we do at the best of times, yeah, really. Stinky. And looking out in the distance, you can see a figure sat on the tombstone with its back to you that appears to be reading. Perry, it's Ducky. Look, 
over there, it's Ducky! The ghost of Ducky, Betty! Look! Do we approach him? What, do, what should we do? Do we go up? Do we go, hey, Ducky! I don't know. How's it going, fella? I don't that, know. What do we do? Yeah, um, uh, let's, let's tiptoe over there. Let's have a, let's tiptoe. Don't be loud now. Gentle. Oh, stealthy. <laughs> We've got a stealth over there. Stealthily creep towards the coast. Okay. <laughs> He's back to us, right? Yeah. Okay. I will want you to make a stealth roll. Um, yeah, well, that's... Um, I don't have any stealth. Well, it's 20. Uh, oh, it's so 20. If you, yeah, if you don't have a number, then everyone has a base level of... Ah, everyone can do a little bit of creeping. You may just pass this, Lydia. Go you for... may just... This may be fine. 51. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got to get 20 under. Oh, I'll have a go. Let me have a go. Little lady feet. 25. Oh, so close, but so far. Right. Okay. Mm, too much. So your guy's version of stealthing is you're still swigging from your drinks, being like, come on, Dougie. Dougie! Uh, no, <laughs> come on, Perry. Look, let's A stealth penny. over. You're having this chat as you just walk towards, talking about how we to... have to be quiet. It's a ghost. <laughs> I mean, it's a ghost. I don't believe in ghosts, but it looks like one. Nah. <laughs> Uh, the I think the figure that is sat on this this gravestone, uh, it it just turns and it looks at you uh, when you keep talking about it being a ghost and it has one eyebrow raised. Uh, I'm going to need sanity rolls from both of you. Another D four. Oh, no, no, we got to do the. D God, thirty eight. All right. Okay. Okay. Nice. That 27. Perfect. Oh, fuck Ooh. off. 85. 85. <laughs> uh, you are going to lose D6 sanity. Nothing. Uh, that's actually a 6. Fuck off. It's not a 0, Lydia. What is it a 0? Is there a 1 on the opposite side? No, it's yeah, a Yeah, there will be. <laughs> that's a 6. Lydia. 6 sanity. That's bad. I'm losing my bloody mind. <laughs> Uh, oh, I thought that meant zero. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're a learned person. Uh, so you've lost six sanity in one go. That's a lot of sanity to lose. Mm. Um, and what I'm going to need you to do is you're going to have to roll against your intelligence. Mm. But this time, if you pass, you're going to go temporarily insane. Because smarter people, mm. you are able to put together that this thing shouldn't be here. Whereas if you're a, a, a dummy, then it's easier for you just to ignore. Right. But you'll be able to understand the implications it's of what you're looking at. It's not something you can rationalise. Yeah, so the exactly. higher your intelligence, the worse it would be. Yeah, so, so you have to roll 80 or over. 49. Okay, you are temporarily insane. <laughs> uh, you, you turn into... <laughs> It's a shame the BAFTAs has already <laughs> happened. <didn't you? laughs> uh, right. To me. Oh, Here. what the hell is that? You can roll. You can roll this dice. It has frozen in fear, catatonia, oh. flee in panic, babbling. All right, great. These are just all of the results. But if she rolls babbling, how will we never ever know? I'm cat. I'm in catatonia. Oh, that's okay. Bad. Uh, you are just. Are you Kenneth Matthews? <laughs> a little bit of a joke <laughs> there. Nice. Like it, nice. Like it. Catatonia, Not big, bad. big in the 1920s. <laughs> Loved that. Uh, so you are catatonic, uh, just absolutely frozen, because you are staring at what looks a bit like an older, older man, uh, kind of balding, but with white hair around the temples. But he's naked. Whoa. He's naked, but covered in just absolute filth and grime. Oh, never. Uh, his arms are a little elongated and his hands are a little bit longer with claws. He has a sort of bestial Fuck. like snout on his face. And does he have long ears as well? He does have long. Yeah. Does long... he look a little bit like a dog? He's got, you would dog describe them as feature. canine features. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's strange. Okay. All right. Do they have hooves? Did you say do they have hooves? He also has hooves. Right. Um, I'm going to take a shot at it. Take a shot? Just try shooting it. Okay. In this situation, 
It's a monster. Yeah. It's not a ghost. That's what I'm thinking. This is some sort of horrible fucking monster. Man, you pull... And it looks terrifying. I'm going to sh- try and shoot it. Pull pull your gun. This may be a terrible decision, but this feels you like can... the role-playing thing to do. Wow, you can you can 100% do that. Roll me. You pull your if gun out. If I was out. smart, I would just run. I think. And leave. I... It's your man. What, don't don't think of what don't think of what thing. Simon would do. Think yeah. of what Perry would do. I mean, I got no training in in the gun, so. But you are holding a gun. Yeah, I got my pistola. Twenty or under. Okay, you draw. <sighs> do I want this to hit? That's the thing. I'm catatonic. I can't say anything. I'm out of my bloody head. Oh my god. What is it? What is it? 75. That's dreadful. You you pull the gun. Blam! The the shot just goes wild. And the this figure looks super duper surprised and just takes off at a run. Okay, this is good. Uh, That's good. That's good. Maggie? Maggie? What? Huh? Ah, what? How long is she catatonic for? Uh, it's something like D6 hours, I think. Hours? How? Yeah. Do you to carry her around? <laughs> I can I, got it can I down. like, slap her? Sure. Try and bring her to her senses? Give me a slap roll. <laughs> psychology. Okay, I've got psychology as a skill. Bring me back. Maybe okay. this would help me figure out what to actually do in this situation with a catatonic person. Uh, yeah, if you can give me a successful psychology, um, I'll you'll be able to snap her out. Alright, fingers crossed, Lydia. Fingers crossed. What we got? Twenty-two. Fantastic. <gasps> That's a hard success. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Uh, you give a well. You describe how you break her out of this. <laughs> I just slap her around the face. Come on, woman. <laughs> So I'm Come on! Step out of it! You're f- yeah. Maggie! Maggie! Stop <laughs> shaking. Slapping <laughs> <shaking. laughs> me. I'm just shaking her by the shoulders. Hey! Uh, 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 get uh, your hands uh, off of me! What are you doing? Stop slapping me! You lost your mind, woman! Huh? You lost your mind! Uh, where am I? <laughs> We're in a graveyard. We what? saw a ghost or what? a monster or something. I don't know. I took a shot at it. Ran off. What? 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 There was I'm... a naked hairy man. Oh. Where? Oh. Dougie. Oh. It was Dougie. <laughs> oh, Perry. All I remember is that stinky little hole with all the bones. Yeah, it was quite blurry. Oh, you really smacked me hard, Perry. That's quite rude of you. I do apologise, no. dear. I'm oh, sorry. Thanks for bringing me back. Did you see Dougie, did you say? It was Dougie. Oh my god. He was nude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Taken as the day he was born. Goodness gracious. My goodness. All hanging out. <laughs> the whole thing? Maybe I shouldn't go into it. Or you might you I'll might have think. another one of your have a relapse. Your fugues again. Uh, well, what do we do? Do we run after him or do we go back to that weird guy's house who, who hired us? I. I think maybe we should go back to the house. Oh, uh, yeah, I could do with a... Let him know that we've seen his naked <laughs> uncle. I could do with a brandy, actually, yeah. And some pie. And, no, oh, no, just a brandy. Let's just get a bit in. of... You can, you can eat the pastry. No, the eat pastry. the pastry, I'll, I'll have the meat. Just a nibble, all right, let's get okay. back. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, oh, and a, and a hot bath. I stink of feces. You do it the best of times, dear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. So you're heading, heading back to the house. Yeah. Uh, the Kimball house. Uh... Cool. As you uh, as you leave, you you can see that like a few books have been left at mm. this gravestone. There was like a f- couple others in a little pile that were nearby. Um, just all kinds of different titles. Nothing super in particular. Uh, just we can't. Do we see what the, any of them are called? Just nothing. none of them are too important. Just all kinds of different subjects and novels. Fiction. Okay, well, let's grab them and take them No, with us. let's leave them here. Yeah, no, 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 because it might be the missing books. That... Yes, but they belong to the uncle. And oh, yeah. that was the uncle. But maybe he'll come to the house and we could trap him. What do you think about do that? Do you want this 
Last time you saw him, you went mad. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes, yes. Plus, I don't want to see his. Leave the books thing. here. I don't want to maybe, see his. Maybe we can ask the nephew to bring more books. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, okay, yes, yes, it works better. Let's do that instead, shall What we? harm could it do? Yes, yes, why not? Okay. Sure. Yes. Let's yes. go back to the house, dear. Come on. All right, all right, yes. Uh, okay, while well, you. You uh, approach the house and. Uh, yeah, you. Knock on the door. It is the middle of the night at this stage. Uh, it takes a few minutes, but uh, Thomas answered the door. Uh, oh, oh, um, I was. I thought you didn't want to stay here because of the bathroom. It, oh, you do smell te- terrible. We've had a bit of an ordeal. Can you get your maid to run me a hot bath, please. Oh, I, uh, I could. Run you a hot bath. Um, I'm sorry, I, I don't, still yes. don't have a maid. Oh, right, uh, yes, you're poor. Okay, yes, please. <laughs> yes, that's uh, yes. yeah, that's right. Yes, mm-hmm. right, fair enough. Um, would you would you like a piece of pigeon pie? I oh, made love. made it fresh, and then you you ran off. I'd love some. I'd love some. I'll I'll pop it in the oven for you and draw your bath. Just a brandy for me, I think. Thank you. Uh, uh, you need some, you need some solids. Alco- you need alcohol some solids is foods, illegal dear. right now. There's the prohibition on. No, no, no. It's fine. You see, I just pay the lovely policemen, and they look the other way. It's quite funny. Oh, um, that sounds Ill- highly illegal. No, um, it's fine. When oh. you have a, a a name like Vandy Holt, it gives a certain level of you kind of get to do whatever the hell you want. It's quite nice. Oh, yes, yes. You sound just awful. <laughs> oh. um, She's quite bad. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, uh, I'll run that bath and do get the pie ready. Uh, great. You, you guys can wash up, eat, refresh, and uh, you come back down the air. He's serving serving some pie. I don't have a brandy, but here's some hot cocoa uh, for you. Oh, lovely. Horlicks. Or a, uh, I didn't want to give you coffee because it's very late. It's mm, mm. almost three in the morning. Oh, my goodness. We we managed to... Uh, well, we found your uncle. We Wait, found, what? Uncle, found, uncle Dougie? Uncle Dougie, we found him. Mm, Wait, mm. where? How? Where is he? Oh, no, he's not dead, is he? No, he's... He's very much alive, uh, Wait, somewhat. I I don't understand. He's a mole man now. What? <laughs> He's a mole man. <laughs> what, like a miner? No, no, no. No, like... that's a child. No. <laughs> no, like the a mole pic- man. Oh, a mole. A fully grown mole man. <laughs> <laughs> He's been digging, digging a hole. He lives in the hole now. He lives in the hole under the earth. <laughs> What? We went down the hole. That's why we were so dirty. In the cemetery, you see, darling, that one round the corner. Oh. Cor- corner. Corner? <laughs> I suddenly went like this. In uh, the cemetery round the corner. Oh, I, I'm i afraid I don't follow. He, um, yeah. I, I'm, a, I'm afraid your uncle may have lost his mind is, and he's taken to living underground. Yes, he, he, what it looks like what he's done is he's dig, dug, a, dug a big hole uh, right down to... Oh, just like his name. Just like his name, D- Dougie, yes, exactly. Uh, right, right down, right, right, right down. There's lots of bones and smelly bits and bottles. What? It's very unusual. No, um, no not Dougie. Yes, yes. He was uh, never particularly athletic or... No, we what? must be... Conf- this all sounds like a very cruel prank to play. Prank? Look. Did you see the state of us when we arrived at your house in uh, the well, middle of the night? Yes, you both turned up and I believe you've both been drinking and... Oh, well. Of course we've been drinking. Cavorting. If you'd shock. been through what we'd been through, you would have been drinking as well. But the and shock. I- yes. The shock, Perry. This uh, poor lady here, she almost fainted. Catacon- she puked her guts up. I threw up I c- everywhere. I couldn't tell it's... All over your clothes. And you see this? I pull out my gun. I fired my gun. Oh, my God. At your uncle. But what? Perry, Perry, don't tell him that bit. Don't tell him that bit, Perry. Oh, I... He I'm... was fearsome. He looked more like a monster than a man. A beast. Feral. Feral he was. Covered in filth and disgusting grisness. Horrible, no, horrible. I know that's not a word. <laughs> grisness? Grisness. Yeah, grisness oh. I think I think he's the one that took the books. I think he climbed up into your uh, uh, study and went in there and stole the books himself because they were there, weren't they? Perry, tell him Perry. There were the... Tell him Perry. They were there, weren't they? The By books the whole... were there. He was reading the books. Do... I he's feel... been stealing his own books mm. and reading them in his dirty hole. And he was nude. 
dude. No. Look, my Uncle... dear fellow, I think it's sort of best that you, you don't mess with this. I... If anything, maybe leave some books by the grave. I... There's a nice grave. Everything's what? very serene and it's quite pleasant there in the graveyard. <laughs> maybe pay a visit there every so often and leave a book for your uncle. I think that's the best you can do for him at this point. No. I think you guys are going to need to give me at least a hard persuade roll. Persuade is, if is not, fine. Uh, Fast talk 60. is even better. But it doesn't sound I feel like, like you're being truthful. Yeah, I, I feel like this. you're you're telling him the truth rather than trying to like lie to him. So I think like this would fall more into if this fails, your persuading. I'm going to try lying to him. Um, yeah, okay, I well, I don't know what to think. We'll see. What's that? Eight. Is that a zero? Mm. That is a yeah. zero. You rolled an eight. So I rolled an eight, which is like a mega extreme success on persuade under ten. Wow. That okay. is a nice roll. Wow. Good. <laughs> Okay, Thomas is believing you that his uncle is a mole man. And he's uh, nude. But, but he always hated nudists. <laughs> Not anymore. He would, he would always wear clothes. No. Um, I, I think oh. maybe the isolation of his life, oh, you know, him not having a wife, he... Eventually, his, his mind couldn't take it anymore, and he started digging a hole and living my, in it. My God. Uh, can I have some of your alcohol? I feel like I've been persuaded around to that as well. Here you go. Don't worry. I'll just give the police a little bit of money. Thank fine. you. Don't worry. He That's just it. takes a big swig. He just looks absolutely, absolutely mortified. So what What do we do now? Um, what do you think we should do, Perry? Leave some books out for your dear uncle by the grave. You'll know the grave. It's the it's the nice one. If you walk around the graveyard, you oh, will find I, it. I know the I know the where your uncle apparently before his madness would sit and read. He still does that. I think maybe there's a little bit of his old self left. Wow. And maybe leave a couple of books out for him every month or so. Maybe the night before a full moon. Oh, the day oh, like yesterday. Like yesterday, <laughs> yes. So maybe wait 28 days or so. Perfect, yes. Leave out a couple of tomes of any random book, I think. You'd probably enjoy it. Oh, okay. Um, and otherwise, I'm afraid your old uncle, he's gone. Oh, well, th thank you, I guess. Uh... But I, I do have some words of advice. Maybe, maybe don't... Take to digging holes yourself. Oh, okay. I, I never had that urge. <laughs> That's good. Keep it that way, please. But thank you, thank you. Now payment. Um, oh uh, yes, uh, right away. He uh, he goes and retrieves the the money, the money for you, the twenty, the twenty dollars. Oh, it's so cute, isn't it? Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and hands it to you. So yeah, uh, you guys have uh, successfully completed the Call of Cthulhu adventure, Paper Chase. How many experience points do we get? Have we leveled up? So, uh, it's something that, because... Can I learn Fireball? <laughs> fireball. <laughs> you have now learned the spell Fireball. <laughs> Uh, so normally what we would be doing, um, I didn't make you guys worry about it right now, uh, was any skill that you successfully use, um, you would put a little check in the box next to it. And ah, okay. then uh, after the game, you would roll and each of those skills would improve a little bit. Yeah. Got you. Um, but because I'm going to say you're going to, you kind of gave Thomas there some closure. You gave him some closure. Mm -hmm. And so I'm happy to give you both maybe like a D6 of sanity back. Yay. Oh. So I'm back to 48. D6. I can't go above what I started with. Oh wait. No, you have a max a so, max sanity. Four, so I'm back to forty, sure. Three Okay. So you've got a little bit 40, of your sanity back. Nice. Forty five. And sort of in the interim period before you were next to go on some kind of adventure, you'd be able to convalesce yourself a little bit, take some time away, and you can recover 
sanity sort of between mm. between games. Go to the spa. Oh, get I yourself did. a facial. Oh, I love that. You guys can go. Very stressful. Go to a spa that straight would be after nice. this. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, pal. So, facial, Lydia. So, facial. facial. Sorry, you didn't laugh at Simon's yeah. joke. Wait, he was making crude. The... Oh, as in a sex thing. Are you talking about a sex thing? No. <laughs> Simon, why are you talking about sex stuff? Why did you bring up sex? What on earth? Why, Simon? I'm, what on earth? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Did I, did I fast talk? You, <laughs> yeah, you, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, you have completed your adventure. How did you find... Call of Cthulhu, Lydia. This I'm, is your first time. I loved it. I had a really good time. Yeah? Yeah, really enjoyed it. Like, I didn't want it to end. I thought it was great. You did very well. Hooray! Uh, Simon, did you did you have fun? Yeah, I think so. It's the, it's the fact that we just get a glimpse at the uncanny and we don't really understand what it was that we witnessed. That's very on the, on the mark. Yeah, that you don't fully fully get to find out yeah. mm -hmm. uh but at this stage um i will kind of reveal a bit of what was what was going on behind behind the scenes uh as often in these games there'll be lots of other things you can do there's a lot of other information that you can find out uh you guys kind of got pieces of the story and then i think you were very lucky to go down into the catacombs uh Ooh. there were like a few different ways to sort of handle uh, your confrontation with, uh, you are correct that it was Dougie, uh, was the character that you met at the end. And so Dougie has become a ghoul. Uh, he would read in the cemetery late at night, and one night he heard a, a faint meeping, yeah. and yeah. Uh, it was a ghoul, and he started chatting with the ghouls, and he decided that he was going to go and live with the ghouls and eat human flesh. And because he's been doing that... He... Hey, buddy, do you want to live forever? And eat... Hey, buddy, you want to eat some bones? Dead people. But what is going to happen from here is uh, probably this night is the last night that uh, Dougie was going to be coming up to the surface because the ghouls were going to seal this hole in. And uh, what you none of you had noticed when you'd gone back to the Kimball house was he'd actually robbed it again this evening. Uh, but... Uh, Thomas hadn't noticed, and you guys were too busy washing and mm. eating pie and oh, damn it, just pie. being horrible to poor Thomas. Mm. We were not horrible. Mm. We were it, nice. We gave him closure. Yeah. He and did give brandy. him closure. Yeah. And brandy. Mm. Uh, maybe yeah. you guys were fine towards <laughs> him. You were all right. Uh, but yeah, so uh, because this sort of entrance way to the underground world was being closed, uh, that's why... Uh, Dougie, who just loved to read, um, he, he was just his favorite books. He was just stealing Aww. some of his favorite books so he could take them with him uh, before he moves on to the underground world. Oh, uh, it's quite sad, isn't it? Poor Dougie. Uh, so some of the other options that you could have had was you could have visited the local library where you would have found out uh, some information about happenings in the the town that mm -hmm. seemed appropriate to the case. Mm -hmm. oh, that would have even... been good. I've got library use. Yeah, uh, well, we didn't use it. Didn't we use just, it, did we I? Just went straight to the graveyard <laughs> and fucked around in a hole. Yeah. But there is no, there is no right way to do this. No yeah. wrong way. Um, you guys, you didn't die. You completed. Like there is an end. Like it's not always going to be like, well, we saved the town and everything's mm. perfect. Sometimes running away is literally the best option. Yeah. And I got to shoot a gun. You did didn't get to shoot anything, a gun. Uh, but I got to shoot a gun. Nice. So I didn't you, think that would happen. Uh, yeah, uh, you could have shot and killed... I could have, and that would have been bad, I think. You could have killed him uh, in the situation where, if you would have killed him, you then move into a weird scenario where a lot of ghouls will turn up. <gasps> yeah, looking and, for their friend. And uh -oh. if you try to fight the ghouls then, we just move to the end and you die. <gasps> Thank God you didn't hit him. Uh, if you try to put up a fight against Jesus, um, well, <laughs> oh, you were no bloody use. Well, I was catatonic, wasn't I? Oh. Well, <laughs> but weirdly, I think maybe in that situation, uh, Lydia would have survived. Oh, what? Because I'm off in the corner. Just because they just ignore her. Because the the ghouls <laughs> are. So I started blasting. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the ghouls are only uh, hostile to people who are hostile to them. Yeah. Uh. Because they don't eat people, they eat bodies. Yeah, they they're not like, cannibals. Uh, they carry se, them. And they eat 
long dead corpses. Oh, so I would have woken up from my catatonic st- state and you would have just been gone. And everything and... would have been gone. Peregrine? Yeah. The Peregrine. Peregrine. <laughs> the door to the mausoleum would have been sealed, oh. the tunnel filled in, and you would have just woken up and Peregrine would be gone and oh. you'd have no idea about what had happened. Oh, that would have been it's terrible. It's sort of how, how that would have played out. Right. I think that kind of covers it. I'm in like a cage made of rib bones. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just being carried deeper into the underground. Uh, but yeah, you could have had um, a whole big conversation with Doug. He had a whole load of information Aww. to give you, but um, she freaked out. But yeah, she, but Blamo shot at him. Uh, it seems like the, a logical response. Yeah, to I, situation. I am not faulting any decision mm-hmm, mm-hmm. at all. We made every de- decision 100% correct. Uh, yeah, confirmed. confirmed. Tom just said it. Yeah. So, yeah, I think this is not the longest adventure by any means. Um, everything kind of just points you to the graveyard. Uh, if you go into the tunnels, you would have met Dougie by just the moment you leave, he'll be waiting there. Mm. Uh, if you stay at the cemetery at night, he's going to creep out and depending on what your guys' like intentions are, either you'll see him running away from the house with a load of books, mm. uh, or just be waiting on the gravestone. If you're at the house, he'll break into the house and then run away. Uh, so you, it's always guiding you towards this point where you are going to have a run in with him. Right. So it kind of doesn't matter what you do, but the more if you had have gone uh, done a bit more information collecting, it would have just hinted more heavily at there are ghouls in the graveyard and given you like a you'd be more prepared for that kind of thing mm-hmm. but you did wonderfully well done thank you, thank you. good job <laughs> uh but guys thank you so much for joining me um i hope pleasure. you guys have enjoyed seeing some role playing and stay tuned for some more Ooh. bye bye <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more tabletop role-playing content with a role and cast of your favorite Yoscast members playing a variety of different games, then please head on over to our brand new channel, Mystery Quest. There's a whole load of content uploaded already. I hope you enjoy.